Turning now to election 2020, News 4 Jax has learned members of the Republican National Committee have been to Jacksonville, scoping it out as a new site for this summer's GOP convention. Among the other cities in contention, Orlando, Nashville, Las Vegas, as well as venues in Georgia. Today, News 4 Jax reporter Jim Pickett has been talking with Mayor Curry about Jacksonville's chances, and Jim is live on the South Bank. Jim. You know, there are a lot of people surprised that Jacksonville is still in the running to host a convention. But I will tell you, I talked to two sources who didn't want to be identified, and they're actually telling me that they are very surprised that we're at the top of the list. Hosting the convention was an idea floated by the local Republican Party and Mayor Curry last week. But now that the GOP and North Carolina still haven't come to terms on how to host a convention there, Mayor Curry tells me GOP leaders have been closely looking at Jacksonville. So yeah, my team has been with members of the RNC. Uh, conversations about what Jacksonville has to offer. Uh, and on at first blush, that looks hopeful. And then I learned that they're I think Las Vegas, Nashville, San Antonio, they're all over the place. Nothing has been made official at this point, except that Jacksonville is moving up on the ranks of cities being discussed as an alternative to Charlotte. Still, it's exciting news for the Duval County Republican Party. Jacksonville is definitely in the running for the GOP convention. Do you think that is going to happen? Jim, I can tell you that there is no better city in America I can tell you that Jacksonville is a Republican city and that the Republican Party of Duval County would be wildly supportive. If that happens, it will take a lot of work. 50,000 delegates would need a place to stay, and the mayor says we should be able to pull it off on short notice. Do we have the space and the hotels to, to, to host something like that? Jacksonville knows how to get things done. Yeah. So it, it could happen. But we are at a disadvantage. And that disadvantage, of course, is the lack of hotel space and also no recent development that was going on downtown. But I'll tell you, if this does happen, they are talking about a $100 million impact here in Jacksonville. When could we find out? Well, some are telling me it would maybe be by the end of the week and it would come from the White House. We're live on the South Bank, Jim Pigott, Channel 4, The Local Station.